We are a document automation and e-sign platform. And so really it's like, while HubSpot is the source of truth for all of your customer engagements and uh, what's going on, Panadoc is kind of like, we want to be that for the actual documents themselves. And so um, as we're following along this path, right, we have Acme Industri Industries here and Alex who we're selling to. Um, as we've gone through this process, right, we identified with Grain that there was a, a need for some security information to be sent. And so um, as far as this process, on the deal record here, um, <clears throat> I can see a few things have already happened with Panadoc. In this case, we have some automation that's already happened in the back. So as soon as a customer comes through and we've identified that they've been bought in, our next stage normally is to send an NDA. Maybe they have a request for a SOC 2 report. And so we want to remove that burden from the AEs and the sellers themselves. And so in the back background, we've already know that Alex is our signer and we've sent and signed an NDA and that's all associated to our deal in our accounts and all tracked within HubSpot as a as your initial source of truth. Um, and so whether this process is automated in the background or something that's user driven, it's something that can be uh, that can go through HubSpot as your single source of truth. So with Panadoc here, if we pop over into our side, everything starts within a template. And so unlock, unlike a lot of platforms out there, it is a what you see is what you get editor. And so I can easily click in and edit and drag anything I want, even control Z out of that and bring it back to where we were to start with. Um, but the core elements as we talk about our HubSpot integration is the ability to merge data seamlessly and use that as your source of truth. And so as we're talking about we want to customize what we want our reps to be able to customize. We want to pre-fill the information that we already know. And we want to then also restrict them from editing the things we don't want our sellers to edit. Because you know that the seller is not the only person involved with this deal. As you're going through, there's legal who's already approved terms and conditions. There's your RevOps who needs everything to match inside of your CRM. And so all of that is important to have um, controls over. And so inside of Panadoc, on our right-hand side, we have these content blocks that allow you to build the actual contents itself. Um, if I keep on on here, um, for us, kind of that high level, you know, what you see is what you get, no code, real-time tracking. Um, and then the final piece here is really um, pulling in that customized content on the fly. And so with Panadoc, the real highlight feature for us is, is our smart content that can either allow your sellers to pick and choose things like a case study or pre-fill the content for terms and conditions, something that might be related to like a, um, T's and C's that are specific to a country that you're selling in. So um, we have a template set up, but really it's all about how easy it is for our seller to actually generate and send that data. So inside of HubSpot, we have a deal record. We have Alex as our recipients. We have some of our initial line items. In this case, it's our pro plan. We're going in knowing it's 13 seats. And then we already have a contract start date over here on the other side. And so as we're creating and sending this contract, we're going to make sure that HubSpot is in sync at every stage of that deal. So what, regardless of what happens inside of Panadoc and the changes that happen in the proposal, we want to reduce that lift on the actual seller so they don't have to do double entry inside of their CRM and maintain that as the source of truth. So I'll show you how we do that. On the right-hand side, we see our Panadoc widget. We'll just go through a quick create document workflow. This does launch you a window into Panadoc, allowing you to select those templates. In this case, it's my HubSpot sales proposal. Alex is pulled in as my client, and I'm put in as the sender. We kind of like to joke that green means go, and all of the buttons for your reps to create and send a document are all green. Um, happens to be the same color as cash. Don't know if that was intended or not, but it is what it is. So as this document's created, now it's a child from that parent template. Anything that's changed here isn't going to affect that template or anyone else's documents. And so if I scroll down to these case studies, I can then pick and choose what to include. It's going to be pulled in from our content library. It's going <clears> to <throat> honor the theme and the fonts from your proposal template so that everything looks seamless. Quick plug as well, we do integrate with Wistia, and you can embed videos right with inside of Panadoc. And then the final piece, as far as we're quoting, <clears throat> is our quote block itself. And so in this case, my pro plan and that onboarding package have been pulled in, but I also have some add-ons here. And so one of the things that makes Panadoc unique within the e-sign market is that our documents are live online. They're not a PDF, it's not. And so I haven't generated in this word, I haven't copy and pasted its things and then uploaded that into another e-sign platform. 
And so as I make changes, I can click into my quote block. And in this case, maybe I actually learned this is a, a 20 user deal and I'm gonna be offering them a 20% discount for that. I can make those changes on the fly. And then the add-ons down here as well, they're optional for my user. And so maybe I want to include my dedicated support. I can have an existing volume-based threshold. So if they want to choose and add more hours, that's all gonna honor that, um, <clears throat> that pricing within the catalog itself and then be reflected back into HubSpot automatically. So as I save this quote, I made some fun modifications. <clears throat> and then I have my actual signature blocks themselves. And so you can see that there is specific content here that is locked. And so our merge variables, those yellow fields did pull in from HubSpot. But as a user, I have to go to an admin or legal to request changes to specific contract languages that I shouldn't need to change. And then you do see that our, there's our signature fields and our start date that are assigned to that end user, that signer. And the last thing that we have here is some terms and conditions. And so in this case, those deal properties that are passed across all the way from the company into Panadoc dictate what terms and conditions this template has. And so as a seller, I don't have to worry about picking the right template. I don't have to worry about adding there. The right content is gonna be there every time. And then the last piece here, back to the green buttons, we then get to send this to our clients. And so we can generate a link, we can send emails or text messages, and then have Alex sign this. And so this kind of brings you all the way through that initial generation of the document, merging your data from your deal as your source of truth. If I load this, that then gives me that, that signature recipient view that they're gonna see in Panadoc. But more importantly, if I pop back over to my deal, and then you gotta love live demos, we can see that the deal stage has already been updated. And so we've, we've associated this new, um, new proposal, we've updated the stage as this happens. And then from Alex here, he just has to follow his call to actions right down to the bottom. But my add-ons themselves, I can actually opt into my cloud storage. Maybe I actually wanna be generous and get a thousand gigs here and that will be updated in live time. And maybe my start date actually is gonna be the end of the month. So I can update that, draw type or upload my signature and finalize this document. So this phase, <clears throat> we are a standard electronic signature in the market that is gonna generate um, and be valid pretty much everywhere in the world. Um, and then it's gonna be written back into HubSpot. And so all those changes that you saw just happened, my stage is updated, my deal has moved through, my line items, both the dedicated storage that I opted in for and the changes to my actual discount are all reflected right inside of HubSpot here. And in the moment, PDFs take a little bit longer to render we're also gonna write in that PDF right into your deal records. So at any point, if anyone else needs to go back and see that proposal, um, they don't have to go chase it down anywhere else. They can see it right within HubSpot as your source of truth. And then um, same thing with the start date itself that we modified, it's all pulled in. And so really the, the name of the game is to reduce the lift on the account executives, um, reduce the risk for human errors um, and let sellers do what they're good at, which is sell and not admin work. Mm -hmm.